What's good? What's good, everyone? I am Young Reno, the Rookie Chef, and I am back, y'all. Man, it's been storming like crazy out here, you know? I haven't made it videos in a few days, and because we've been having little blackouts and electricity issues, you know, finally it calmed down a little bit, so I'm here to bring y'all another one, all right? I am all right, as y'all can see, so we're going to do this. This time, y'all, we're going to be making something healthy, fun. We're going to be making a uh, vegan breakfast bowl, okay? We're making a vegan breakfast bowl. That's right. It's going to be some yummy goodness, all plant-based, no meat. Y'all going to like it. I'm sure you're going to like it. I think you're going to love it, actually. So without further delay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Y'all, so with that said, let me show y'all this vegan yummy yumminess for your tumminess. Look at the recipes. Check it out. We got three eggs. We got some, look at this, y'all. We got some plant-based bacon. That's right. Bacon that's made out of plant. Mm -mm -mm. It's going to be so yummy. We also got some breakfast sausage made of plant. This is apple and maple breakfast sausages, y'all. This is made out of apples, uh, maple syrup, and nutmeg. Look how they look. So yummy looking. Okay. Then we got a golden potato right here, which I'm going to be making some potato O'Brien, like the little hash brown style. We got some kale. We're using kale. We got some vegetable seasoning. We got some ground red pepper. We got a jalapeno and a red pepper there, a red chili pepper there. We got some smoked sea salt. We got some red garlic and uh, jalapeno seasoning. We got some olive oil. We got some fresh pico de gallo, all chopped up, the tomatoes, the onions, all that stuff in there. And we got some unsalted whipped butter. All right. That's all we are working with, ladies and gentlemen. So with that said, Let's get it started. Let's go. And y'all want to know something before we get started? I just realized what I told y'all was kale. You know, they had this in the section where the kale should have been. So when I grabbed this, um, they already had them in the, pa in, the, in the plastic. When I grabbed it, I thought it was kale. When I just took it out, washed it, I realized this is mustard green. But guess what? That's even better. It's gonna It even sounds more funner. So instead of the kale, and I'll make sure to correct that in the description, we are going to be using some fresh, a fresh mustard green leaf for this vegan dish. Still vegan, all right? So that's something new. That's another twist for all of us to try. All right, let's go. Keep it moving. What we first going to do is cut up the jalapeno. Y'all already know how I get down with the jalapeno, y'all. I already know. It's going to be small like that. Y'all know me already. Let's go. It's like so, okay? Now, the red chili pepper. Same thing. Y'all know how I do it. It's gonna be round, just like that, okay? Let's keep it moving. Just like that. Now, the mustard green leaf. Let's go. I simply just cut it like I would have done the kale. And remember, you can use kale. That was my original, uh, original recipe for this, but kinda excited. So here we go. Just gonna cut up, cut up them up like that. So when I'm cutting them up like that, they're gonna be real fine, all right? Let's keep it moving. There y'all have it, okay? Mustard green, chili, uh, red chili pepper, jalapeno, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this, dice this up, and then we're gonna make it like a potato brine with this, okay? This is gonna be yummy goodness. And uh, remember, this is only one bowl. If you were doing it for two or three, four people, you would make a lot more, but I'm only doing this for me. All right, let's keep it moving. Keep in mind, y'all, these have all been washed, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our potato, I'm gonna put, the pieces into this water so it doesn't start changing colors on us. So the way I'm gonna do this is, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it just like this. And then when I cut them like that, I'm just gonna it's gonna be cut small. Then I'm gonna take and turn them the other way, which they are going to come out like little potato O'Briens, okay? Let's keep it moving. Okay, y'all, so there we have it. See all the little potatoes in there? And the water is also giving them another clean from inside. But that is, they all diced up right there, ready to go. All right, let's keep it moving. Now, what we're about to do, y'all, is we're gonna go ahead and make our nice little uh, egg, okay? Because this is gonna be a good breakfast bowl with the scrambled eggs and everything. So we're gonna take our eggs. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and 
get these eggs in there. We got three of them. We're going to get that in there. We're going to keep it moving. Once you got your eggs in there, you're going to go ahead. Go ahead and give them a nice little whisk. Just like that, okay? Just like that, okay? We're going to get that whisk up. We're going to keep it moving. Once we got it all whisked up, we're going to go ahead and take some of our vegetable seasoning. About a teaspoon. Our crushed red pepper. You know me. Red, uh, red ground pepper, I should say. All right, teaspoon. Uh, our uh, sea salt, uh, smoked sea salt. Say about a half a teaspoon of that because uh, the vegetable seasoning, even though it's salt free, it still has that nice little salty taste from whatever ingredients they're using in this, but I just don't want to overpower it. We got our red garlic and jalapeno. Same thing, y'all. Just like that. You're going to go ahead and give it another little whisk up like that. All right. Y'all follow me. Let's go. You got that all whisked up. You're going to take your jalapeno, your red chili peppers, and our mustard green. We're going to go ahead. Go ahead and just put it all on in there. Get that egg yolk, okay? Put it all on in there just like that. And then we're going to wash this cutting little cutting board out. And then we're going to go ahead and get our preparation of our plant-based meats, okay? So once you got that in there, go ahead and give it a nice little... Spin around like that. See how yummy good that's starting to look inside there. Give that a little spin off and we're going to keep it moving. Uh, I almost forgot about the pico de gallo. Don't forget about the pico de gallo. This also is going to go in there too, okay? Got your tomatoes, everything, your onions. That's where you're going to get those flavors at, okay? You even got little jalapeno peppers in here too. All right? So once you get that in there, again, the whisk up, okay? Now we can keep it moving. For the fun and exciting part, y'all, our plant-based uh, breakfast meats right here. Bacon, sausage, and it's okay to use it on the same board we did our vegetables because these are vegetables, okay? Let's go. Can you really believe that these are not real sausages, meat-wise? These are actually plants, y'all. This is apple, maple syrup, and nutmeg. That's how they made this. And it smells like real sausage. Oh my God, this is gonna be fun. All right, so what we're gonna do with these sausages is we're gonna go ahead, cut them up. Oh, look how the inside even look. Amazing, very amazing, I'm impressed. We're gonna go ahead and cut those down just like this because we're gonna be uh, stir frying these a little bit, you know? It's gonna be fun, let's go. Just like that, amazing. Let's keep it moving. Wow, look at the plant-based bacon, y'all, in its own little pack. Y'all see that? They got this made with it. I think I was reading on the box with like red lentil, you know, wheat, all kind of good, yummy goodness. All healthy, good, yummy. And and a few plants, all right? They created this with beauty, just like they did them sausage. Okay, let's go. Here's the bacon, y'all. Here's our slices of bacon right here, all right? There is our slices of bacon right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut that up too. Let's go. We're going to do with our plant-based uh, bacon is I'm just going to do this. Just like that. Okay. Once I get them cut like that, we'll go ahead and just go down just like that. Okay. So they are going to be cut little pieces like that, okay? All right, let's go. Okay, there is our plant-based yummy goodness right here, okay? Let's go. Okay, y'all, so what we're about to do now is add some olive oil into this pan right here, okay? i say about, uh, about three tablespoons, okay? We're gonna let this heat up. We're gonna keep it moving. So I got this oil on medium-high just to get it to heat up real quick, but we're gonna turn it down to medium low uh, when these start going, okay? So now we're gonna do is we're gonna take our plant-based sausages, put them in there, then we're gonna put our bacon as well, all right? Gonna get them in there just like that. And what we're gonna do, is we're gonna do like this. Let them get lightly coated, nicely cooked. Give y'all a little sneak preview of how that's looking there. Just like that, y'all. We're gonna get it that smell that 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 sausage smells so good because they made it out of uh, maple. Uh, it smells so good and apple. I don't know how they did it, but 
I just know it's gonna be super fire. Okay, let's keep it moving. Okay, and on this little uh, skillet you see over here, we're gonna go ahead and just put just a little bit, a little bit of uh, cooking oil, about like that. So that's probably a third of a cup, maybe even less. And our olive oil, we're gonna actually mix. Just like that, okay? That's gonna be for our potatoes, all right? Let's keep it moving. Y'all, okay, these are done. The bacon and the sausage plant-based, they're done. Doesn't take long because these are vegetables, y'all. They're plants, all right? Take a good look. Looking real good, looking real good there, okay? So what we're gonna do is just put them to the side, let them kinda just stay, uh, you know, stay on heat very, very low while we finish everything else up. Let's go. What we're about to do, our little potatoes that we cut down, we're gonna go ahead, put them in here. Oops, it'll drop pretty far, but there you go, y'all. Remember, you turn it on medium, medium, uh, medium low. They're real small, so they're not gonna take long to cook, okay? So that's what we got there. We got a mixture of olive oil and cooking oil that we got in here, okay? gonna make them real good it's not gonna take long right let's keep it moving keep it moving these potatoes are done look at that yummy goodness see that yummy goodness in there mm -hmm. so what we're about to do let me get my draining spoon we're gonna go ahead and add it over here to our plant-based sausage and bacon okay let's go okay i'm just gonna go ahead and go like this just like this so it can drain, just go ahead and put them on over there, okay? Let's keep it moving. Look how yummy this look. You hear the crispiness? You hear the crispiness? Look at that. Look how yummy that look. Can y'all believe that that is plants, plant-based uh, sausage and bacon? It's hard to believe, but look at that. That's how yummy that's looking, all right? All right, let's keep it moving. Now in this pan here, we are about to take our unsalted, unsalted whipped butter. Okay, there it is. We're gonna go ahead, go ahead and dig on in here like that. Um, that's one tablespoon. I'm actually gonna go with two tablespoons, uh, two teaspoons, what I'm trying to say. Okay, I'm gonna go with two teaspoons and then we're just gonna rub it in like that. Actually, actually, we're gonna go with three. We're gonna go with three, okay? All right, let's get, let's get, let's let that get settling and we're gonna keep it moving. Also gonna put in just a little bit of uh, olive oil with it. Just like that, okay? Probably just a tablespoon, okay, let's go. Now, once all that is good and melted as you see, we're gonna come in with this, that's right. Just go ahead and, you know, get your um, spatula if you need to. Go ahead and just pour it on in, just like that. Y'all see me doing it? Pour it on in, just like that. Get all of it out, all of it out, okay? Just like that. Once you got, got all that in there, you're just gonna go ahead, spread it out just like this, all right? Spread it out just like that. And then you just wanna keep doing this. Turn the heat up a little bit and just keep doing this, taking your time. Always stirring, always stirring, just like that, okay? All right, once it start, starts to foaming up into a scramble, we're gonna come right back, let's go. This is what it's gonna start to looking like. Just like that, okay? That's what it's gonna start to looking like. You just wanna keep doing this until you start seeing that egg start foaming up. And then uh, that's when you know you're coming to the next step, okay? All right. Let's keep it moving, shall we? Hey, y'all, here's where it's starting to come up to a scramble. Y'all see that? Once it starts coming up to a scramble, you're gonna take this yummy goodness. We're all in there, just like that. Get it all in there, just like that. Okay, everything, everything. Leave nothing behind, just like that. Once you got that in there, continue to do your scramble. Just like that, just like that, okay? My God, look at this, y'all. Take a look at this. Take a look at this yummy, fiery goodness. Y'all remember, this is this is the vegan breakfast bowl, y'all. Look at that yummy goodness, okay? Look at that yummy goodness. All right, we're gonna let it keep going and we're gonna keep it moving. At this point, you can go ahead and turn the burner off and just let the rest of the heat do the rest of the trick, okay? Let's go. All right, this yummy goodness 
is now done. Next, the plating. Let's go. All right, y'all, it is done. Are y'all ready to see this yummy, healthy goodness? Introducing, introducing the vegan breakfast bowl, the Rookie Chef way. Take a look at this yummy goodness. Take a look at that, y'all. Take a look at that fire right there. Vegan breakfast bowl, y'all. Y'all saw what we did. We used those breakfast sausages, which happen to be plant-based. There's not one drop of meat in this. This is all vegetarian right here, okay? We used those uh, plant-based bacon, which was made out of red lentil and all other plants and herbs and seasonings and all that good stuff. Then we use eggs and then we use uh, red chili pepper and jalapeno pepper. Then we use that pico de gallo that had the onion and tomatoes in it. This is fire, y'all. And it smells so good and I can't wait to do the taste test. There it is, y'all. Yummy goodness. You want some yummy goodness in the morning? Make this for breakfast. You will feel good. You will feel uh, rejuvenized. You will feel charged up, okay? To my vegan lovers, I hope y'all will enjoy this great, beautiful, uh, attractive, vegan, vegetarian breakfast bowl, okay? There it is again there, y'all. There it is again there, all right? The taste test. All right, y'all, here we go. Look at that yummy goodness in there. All plant-based meat and vegetables. Straight up. Healthy, 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 okay? I'm using a spoon this time because I don't want a fork. I don't want it to all be dropping out. Y'all go. Got a piece of little sausage on there. See the steam still coming up, still hot. There y'all go. Oh man. And the whipped butter. Oh man. Look at y'all. This is fiery delicious, okay? I'm just gonna tell that right now. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. You can taste that healthiness. Mm. So good. I recommend y'all try this, okay? Mm, mm, mm. Not gonna be no cold one with this one because this is strictly vegetarian healthy. I would suggest getting some vegetable juice, apple juice, something of that nature when you eat this, okay? All right, time to dim the lights. Gotta finish this up, let's go. All right, y'all, this is where we dim the lights and say our goodbyes, okay? Let me give you another recap on this yummy goodness. We did a vegan uh, vegan breakfast bowl. Take another look. There y'all have it right there, y'all. Vegan breakfast bowl. We used uh, sausage. That was made out of maple syrup, apples, and nutmeg. And then we used that turkey, well, <laughs> bacon, not turkey. We used that bacon um, that was also made out of uh, plant-based, okay? And then we used some um, eggs. We used our own uh, little vegetables, our peppers, and pico de gallo with the tomatoes and everything in it. Oh, man, this is some yummy, yummy, healthy goodness, y'all. No meat product at all in this, okay? No meat product at all in this. And that plant-based meat tastes really good. And I'm really impressed because the sausage tastes like real sausage. It tastes like maple sausage. I love the way they do this, okay? So, all right, y'all. Thank you for joining me on another episode of The Rookie Chef. Appreciate y'all. Uh, I'm happy that the rain kind of settled down. I was able to do a video, but they say it's coming back. It's not over yet. So, the next system is coming in, but we got one in. All right? Love y'all. Uh, everybody stay blessed. Uh, you know, we got another, uh, another episode of highlighting our co-chefs coming up. We got another three. So uh, I'll be doing that soon. Uh, with that said, I am the Rookie Chef. Love y'all. Take care. Much love. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe because sharing is caring. And you know that's what the Rookie Chef is all about. Peace out.